Yo, what's going on guys? So I got the 16-pin uh, Gen 5 600 watt uh, power cable directly from Seasonic, which I got for free. Because I do have a Seasonic power supply, so this uh, will plug directly into uh, my Asus Strix RTX 4090 here, and that will get rid of this horrible 4-pin uh, adapter, which is obviously dangerous, most people know. Which I did not bend the cable, per because I didn't want to, obviously, cause any issues, but uh, this will hopefully help... Uh, with reliability and maybe even power delivery. And so it's a pretty long cable. This is a pretty high quality, very thick uh, cables here. And these two plug in directly to the Seasonic power supply. And I'm running a 1300 watt uh, Seasonic Prime uh, platinum rated power supply. So I'm gonna unplug these uh, eight pins and then get these plugged in and then I'll I uh, have to probably reinstall Armory Crate because my RGB software will probably reset, fortunately, because when you unplug these uh, uh, power cables, the RGB gets reset. So that's kind of unfortunate. i got to reinstall Armory Crate, which has a lot of bloatware and stuff, but that's fine. I'll get that figured out, installed, then uninstalled to get the RGB set back to blue, and then uh, we'll see how everything looks uh, powered on. So let me get this installed and then remove the old cables and get rid of this horrible adapter which is dangerous obviously so uh bear with me and i'll be back so stay tuned uh just very briefly i'll show you the back of the box here it says this uh cable is made of 16 awg wiring so it's a high quality high current 9.2 amp uh terminal pin so it's a high quality cable so unfortunately it's not for resale so i guess this is only if you have a uh recently purchased a px 1300 or i think the 1000 watt version uh, platinum white uh, power supply. So I've almost done installing it. What I did was I unplugged uh, three of the cables and I left one plugged in. So I'm going to try to make it so this red light stays on and then switch over to this cable immediately after I plug in. And hopefully it'll be fast enough to for it to still remember uh, the previous RGB settings. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try that because I don't like installing Armory Crate. So I'm going to try it out and we'll see what happens when I turn it on. Okay, I got that 16-pin uh, power, power cable routed here, and like I said, I still got one 8-pin power connector connected. So I'm going to try to do the swap real quick. I'm going to do this off-camera because I need to think fast and act fast, so hopefully this works. Okay, just so you know, guys know it worked, I unplugged it, and while it was unplugged, it still remained on, that light. And then as soon as I plugged in this uh, new cable, the light turned off. So it looks like the light actually turned off when you use the dedicated cables. There's one thing I made a video on previously, so that's kind of cool. So when the computer's off, you no longer get that red light uh, when the system's powered off. So that's kind of cool. We'll see what happens when I turn it off later. But I just wanted to note that. So when you do plug in the red light, light, the red light does remain on. And then you have about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 seconds to switch the cables. So, so you got that quick. Okay, moment of truth. I'm going to power it on. So let's see. We still get my... Nice. It's still uh, blue with the RGB. So yeah, if you do that trick, what I just did when you're changing the cable, you will keep your RGB... Uh, settings that remain so i'm going to power up the computer test a uh, decent test see all the if there's any differences to wattage or anything and then uh until then stay tuned for more videos so i got that new uh cable plugged in and uh that's about it just want to make a quick little video showing that and uh stay tuned for more videos peace out